Hello everybody, welcome to Side of Life. We are currently in the in Texas. We just left Midland and we're driving through the oil fields. This is what it looks like in Texas mm -hmm. when they're discovering oil. Welcome to the oil lands of America. This is an utterly large wasteland of oil production where people drive F 950s and Silverados. Okay, Last we're Cock. entering Glasscock County. Glasscock County. Oil heartland of America. Yeah. This is a massive area where the entire landscape has pretty much been uh, devoted to the wholesome practice of drilling for oil. Let's take a drive through this area and uh, just get a feel for it. You'll notice that everybody drives F 950s or at least an F 550. 1250, whatever the newest, biggest, baddest F series truck out there is. That's what we're driving out here. If you look behind these trees, you'll notice that in all directions there's oil related towers and rigs and F 350s and just completely devastating. People should consider buying a Prius. Right, Katie? Yeah. Maybe going green. Yeah, it'd make you more manly. And it might help you impress a woman out here. Yeah, you might get a woman in a Prius out here. Think oh, about definitely. It. All the guys are trying to drive F 950s to look like the biggest, baddest chunk of meat in town. Now, you really want to impress a woman, get yourself a brand new Prius. Or a Hyundai Veloster. Right, and just be yourself. Instead of wearing a big cowboy hat, wear some skinny jeans, and you'll stand out enough to where a woman will say, hey, look at this guy. Even he a smart car. He doesn't look aggressive. He doesn't look like he come home drunk and hurt me. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he doesn't look like he come home drunk one day and hurt me. He looks very, the thing about men is men don't understand women. See, men drive an F950 and try to look big and bad and hairy. But you treat women, them nice, you can come home to a long meal and okay, these, clothes laid out these for guys you. Are, these guys, that's just too much for them, man. That's, that's, that's 20 steps. You got to start with baby food, okay? You're getting to the meat. You got to start with baby food for these guys. Yeah. They haven't seen a woman their whole life. Okay, they, they don't know. You can't start them off with clean clothes for them when you get home. That's just too much for them to handle. You got to start off baby steps, okay? You don't need an F950 to impress a woman. No. You need a get yourself a Prius. It's green. You put a sticker in the back of your truck that says Green My Texas. Or, Turn my... I can't breathe. I smell like all these foul smelling chemicals. What is this guy doing? Why is there a traffic jam in the middle of oil field? It smells like chemicals and oil and, <coughs> and burnt oil and mm -hmm. petroleum and diesel. <laughs> so my message to the people of, of Texas, they have, for example, the, the town of Midland has about 5,000 men who are single. According to statistics, it's only 4,300 single men. And that's not single men, that's men who there's 4,300 more men than there are women. And there's the ones who haven't been able to hook up with a woman. Now, let me tell you something. If every other guy in this town is driving an F950, there's just too many women competing for the same chunk of meat. You get yourself a nice little, uh, a little, uh, some skinny jeans, maybe a nice little Prius, and you'll stand out. A little sticker that says, you know, it has an outline of Texas, but instead of being red, it's green. You know, like, your chances of getting a woman are going to go up mm -hmm. tenfold. Because mm -hmm. a woman, like, when you think about men, don't understand women. Mm -hmm. Men try, think they have to look big and hairy and drive an F-950, and that's how they're going to impress a woman. Women are afraid of those types of men because they look like they come home and beat them drunk. 
Yeah. They look aggressive. You don't need to look aggressive. Women like a cuddleable, a cuddle bear. <laughs> a hairless cuddle bear. Yeah. Kind of like a weasel almost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, Katie? Yeah. Big <laughs> Dick and Mole Rat. Okay. Shave off the beard. Put on some skinny jeans. Take a bath. Yeah, actually, the bath part is probably more likely to get you a woman than anything else. Yeah, if you guys could at least start bathing here in Texas, that would be a good start for finding a woman. And cleaning your house. They don't know that. They don't live in houses, can't they live in trailers. Well, clean your trailer. First of all, a woman likes a good nest. Now, a ranch home that's been remodeled is a good nest. Yeah. A mobile home in the middle of an oil field isn't. So. Yeah. You got your priorities all wrong. If you think, if yeah. you think you're gonna impress a woman, and then you and you impress a girl with your F9 fit, let's let's pretend, like Katie, like let's pretend. I got an F950 and you like it, you're coming home. So I pull up and I'm like, hey baby, you like this F950? Mm -hmm. You wanna come home with me? You have to agree no. to it. No, you have to agree to it. To, to okay. Answer. Okay, so now I got the girl, we're in an F950 right now. I got the girl with me. She's already in the back, right? I'm going home in my F950. And she starts to smell certain things, like you. And let's pretend she likes the way you smell. Just for the sake of putting all the odds in your favor. Then you pull up to a to a to a camper in the middle of oil field and you're like, alright baby, we're home. She's like, I want a 1972 ranch that's been remodeled. Yeah. I want There's no way I'm living inside of that. Oh my gosh, what's coming out in there? <laughs> that was the worst thing you could have said because <laughs> the things <laughs> No. I don't know what you're what you were imagining when you're let's just skip, let's just pretend we didn't hear that. I'm sure your intentions weren't bad, but you are not good at role play, I'll just say that. I know. So Texas men, even if you bag the women, even if you bag the women with your F950, you still gotta take her home. And when she sees that you live in a camper on an empty lot with a bunch of other guys who are looking at you like that's gonna be mine. Mm -hmm. It just isn't gonna work out. No. So, what can you do as a Texas man to get oh. a woman? Because I don't think Texas men understand. Women Make sure at all. your home is free of rodents. Yeah. Yeah, that's or, what I was trying to say. Make, make sure your home doesn't have wheels. Yeah. That's one way to start. And then make sure it doesn't have rodents either. No girl likes that. Well, maybe you just hear, but not most girls don't like that. The girls that like that, you don't want for a wife. Possibly. <laughs> this looks like a sterile bay right here. Mm -hmm. So there's no sterile, there's no bay, there's no water. Mm -hmm. and there's oil rig fingers that way. What other advice can you give Texas men on women, Katie? No trash piles in your house. Okay, more practical advice. So, you're a woman. What does a woman like? What qualities does a woman like in a man? Number one, F950. Bed sheets on the bed. Huh? I'm sorry, I've heard about too many rednecks. You just sleep on the mattress. What do you, forget about the rednecks. Yeah. What do you as a woman like in a man? Well, when you're out there looking Kind, for a, hard working. A man you can exploit, okay. Uh, yeah. A uh, man who's clean. Clean? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't want someone who smells like a... Oyster. Yeah. That has been left out in the sun. So if you smell nice, that's going to be that's a point for you. So if you take off your stinky boots and they smell like stinky boots, put some odor you just a minute at night, and your girl will be happy. Okay, so you like hygiene. Yeah. 
I would have never figured that one. Huh? All right, so a woman likes a man that doesn't stink. Got to be clean. Mm -hmm. Wear deodorant. Okay. We got past the hygiene. Other than hygiene. So a guy that comes home and throws a pizza box on the floor, that's not really something wrong. No. Really, yeah. really care about that? I do. What if you're looking for a hood rat? Well, if you're looking for a hood rat, a hood rat definitely is going to like that. A hood rat is going <laughs> to respect you for doing it. Um, okay, women like Starbucks and Target. So if you want to find a woman, you should probably go to a Target or a Starbucks. Find out your hangout. And also probably in Texas, I would guess the gun range is a good place to go to. Well, here's the here's my thing. That's what she thinks is going to happen. No guy's gonna go hang out at a Target. <laughs> Unless he's desperate. You know you married a man, right? Yeah. I'm not even going to hang out at a Target for you. No, I'm giving him tips on how to find one. They're everywhere. No, how to find a woman. Finding a woman is not hard. Impressing a woman. Not even impressing. Understand. Forget about impressing a woman. Just understanding a woman. Go go to Target. Pretend to buy candles. I think you're sensitive. Women want men that are sensitive. And then you can show your true colors after. With being here with the candle. <laughs> I'm just a senseless piece of crap, dumb woman. The crap you think I was gonna do with a candle than to hit you with it? <laughs> yeah, don't hit her. Of course, on anything. In case you don't know this, women don't like to be hit. Okay, if uh, if you need a woman, <laughs> a woman needs to respect you, and if you have to use those means to get to a woman to respect you, then the woman doesn't respect you to begin with. Yeah. Okay. So if you think that you have to do that to make a woman respect you. Then the woman doesn't respect you. If a woman respects you, you shouldn't have to do that. Yeah. Now, how do you get a woman to respect you? Is by letting the woman know that you appreciate and protect her. So if you protect a woman, you appreciate what she does, the woman should naturally have respect for you. And if she doesn't, then you do need to use a pimp hand. What? No. <laughs> buy a little gifts for her, you know, be all sweet. If she likes Starbucks, buy her Starbucks. A woman will walk all over you. If you do that, a woman's going to walk all over you. A woman's got to come drink water out of your hand. You're going to be like, well, women, I'm going to feed you or you're going to starve to death without me. That's how they lose a woman. And then they end up crying for two years because they lost a woman. This is a desolate waste of I know. How is all this? I guess this is what we need to do to the world for America to function. Yeah. It's like part of the country just has to be a desolate wasteland. Yeah. But with understanding women, I don't know how it works or how to explain it, but a woman needs to respect you without you resorting to that. Because mm -hmm. women are always going to, even if you, you, you may think that you. It's cotton right there. Cotton? It's all cotton. Yeah. That's cotton too. You are never, as a guy, listen to me if you're a guy, you are never, ever going to make a woman submissive through abuse. Because a woman is going to charge you for that. You might be come home and, and, and treat your wife like crap and abuse her physically or emotionally and think that you have this woman under control. But when you turn your back, that woman is one, more intelligent than you, and two, more emotional and resentful than you could ever imagine. So if you think that you're gonna abuse physically or emotionally a woman, 
and that that woman is not going to charge you for it and you're going to be at the end of the day you're the clown you're going to come home and you're going to hate her and you're going to feel like you were in control of that situation and deep inside she's letting you because she knows that you are already TV. she knows that you're already she's already clowning you like you're, you're not going to clown a woman the woman is more intellectual than you more resentful and more emotional so if you think that you're going to grab a woman and do that to her and that you're actually the one that's in control you are vastly mistaken so there, there's cotton and there's oil here for miles I mean, all you see is oil rings. you're not doing that to a woman and if you think you're doing that to a woman, you're really mistaken. That woman is going to, she's gonna, she knows you. You don't know her. You haven't discovered her, but she's discovered you. And that woman is gonna give you a blow that you'll never ever be able to recover from. What are you talking about, Vince? Why, why have you never experienced that? Because I have a good husband. Oh, yes. I have the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. A woman's always got pot and gold. What? Oh, pot of gold. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got some like, I was like, oh, what? Okay, I gotta go find it. Pot of gold. Yeah, no, but seriously, I'm in a serious conversation. I want your input. You're a woman. You're here right now. If you take care of your woman, she's going to take care of you. I think guys just don't understand the, the complexity of a woman. In that... There, there's so much more emotion. And there's so much more... Like, like I could say something to a woman... That to me is not bad, but to that woman is like a, it, it's, a, it's a death blow of pain because women are more emotional. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty good at not being a jerk, right, baby? Yeah, you're pretty good. I mean, you have a jerk moments, but yeah. <laughs> you're pretty good at being a jerk. Mm -hmm. I think every car here is a good jerk. Yeah, like, there's not a single car in that part of it. They're all different. Mm -hmm. Robert Lee? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the time we're doing a video on. Dude, this looks miserable. I don't know what else you got. Give a guy, here's a guy in front of you in an F950. What do you have to say to him? Okay. I would probably try to figure out if he was a good one or not. Well, what he was going to try to do to impress him. A guy, does a guy really need to impress a woman? Or does a guy just need to be himself? A guy needs to try to impress a woman. Like, if Does you're really? compatible, you're compatible. You have to try to talk to each other. If you're compatible with talking, you have to talk to a woman. I think a lot of guys struggle just to do that. Yeah. You actually had to talk to her to act, get her to be your girlfriend or wife. So here's a guy in an F950 with a belt buckle the size of a dinner plate. A cowboy hat. He comes up and says, hey, baby, you ain't going to have to work a day in your life until I get drunk and start beating you. You don't know where to him. Okay, I'm pretty sure. I was just like, 
give him the stare I just did and walk away. Okay. Hmm. Now, I don't know how to help you. I, I want to help him. I just don't know what the crap is. Talk like. to the woman. If you see a woman and you like her, talk to her. About what? The weather or something. Just start the conversation and then get to deeper things. What are good conversations? I'll tell you what women like. Flowers, mm -hmm. butterflies, well, animals. This one, yeah. Clothing. Yeah. Right now I'm wearing a t-shirt that I like. And she's been trying to flaunt it in front of me all day long. Yeah. And I've been completely ignoring it just to be a jerk. The thing about women is that they need attention. And if you deprive them of that attention, then they need it even more. Yeah. Don't wrap my feathers and I got the chicken on my shirt. Yeah. Women are strange. I think if men understood how creepy women are, they wouldn't even... they just get one from a vending machine and they wouldn't really like try to. Right? Women what are... the heck was it? Like women what, are... a male older bride? Yeah. I don't think men realize how creepy women, women are. What, are. what are they working out here to get a male order bride? I'm just saying men don't realize how creepy women are. This is definitely the most awkward conversation we've ever had on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> We're not understanding each other. Katie doesn't want to help these guys. I'm trying to help them. You're Find not. Up. To me, as a guy, I, I, I know you. I'm still, this conversation has been completely unproductive to me at all. This has been the most, I have, I have gained zero, we're 22 minutes in this conversation, and I have gained zero, I'm actually more confused now than when I started. If you're a 50 year old guy and you try to hit on a 20 year old girl, they're going to be like, ew, get away from me, grandpa. Well, they're looking for a sugar daddy. Well, By the way, that word is actually banned on YouTube. I, I think I just demonetized somebody who was saying that. Yeah. Well, uh, then you're probably looking in a back alley or something. I don't know what to tell you. Mm -hmm. But I, would, I don't know what women... Uh, Katie's advice has been horrible and confusing at best. <laughs> Let me just go back to my. I was hoping there's that, some guy out there with a notebook and it's no, titled "How to Get a Woman." Yeah, and they're trying to figure this out. Yeah, I'm trying to help him, but you you actually confuse me. I already have a woman, and now I'm confused. Like, what am I doing? Well, I will tell you this: women, they like it when you're funny. You gotta be funny. Yeah. Okay. You cannot be this F950 driving aggressive guy. And even when you because have a woman, can, you can't just stop showering. Yeah. Women can see right through that, I think. Like, if you're trying to portray that you're this, they can see right through that. Make sure you have hygiene and uh, decent living quarters before you try to attain a woman. So you can't love a guy unless he's got something to offer you? That's pretty shameful. <laughs> that is the most... Wow, that, that, that's just wrong. Decent? When I say decent, I mean like there's no animals popping up type of thing. We're not there yet. Okay, We're not that deep into this. We're talking like in the early stages of a guy walks into a bar and likes the girls behind the counter. Now, well, here's what the guy doesn't understand. Yeah. Every single guy that walks to that bar thinks that he's going to get that woman. Mm -hmm. And they all try different things mm -hmm. to get that woman. And they say, they all throw all types of weird. And a woman can, one, see through that. Two, doesn't like it half the time. Yeah. Because it's like, women know their options. Men don't. Men have to try for their options. Yeah. Okay? And in that sense, it's not a pretty thing to say, but it's true. Don't overcrowd the Because, yeah, exactly. Good point. Like, ever since, like, 
once I got with you and I was off the market, I feel like women have liked me more since I'm off the market because I'm no longer on the market. So if you look like you're on the market, then women are just gonna be turned off by you because you're too aggressive. I realized like once I got married and I stopped chasing other women, that then women liked me more because I was more mellow and not into them like that. Like I feel like women don't like it when you overcrowd them like you said. Mm -hmm. You know? Like women, I feel like they should feel comfortable near you, mm -hmm. not scared. Yeah. If you're gonna go out, like to a bar or like somewhere, put some clothes on that are nice, have nice hygiene, and they'll be more likely to go up to you. Like be like clean shaven, nice, you know. I feel, I feel like we we have not really given the No, I'm them. really like talking about the hygiene here if you're trying to get a woman. That's the only thing you're focused on is hygiene? Yeah, I live in Alabama. Oh, you don't like those guys that were like, okay, like, like the boots and stink and the yeah. no self. Yeah, like you don't like that. You shouldn't smell like a goat, goat cage. Yeah. You shouldn't smell like you live with goats. Yeah. Yeah, even in Alabama, like, I would walk into a store and there'd be a girl, and, like, I'd be like, you could just look at them and tell that their hygiene was, like, a problem. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And that is the, one of the biggest turn-offs. Like, if you smell like... So you don't like guys in Alabama at all? No. <laughs> hygiene. They don't know any better. Yeah. Like, we would go work for people, and I'd be like, oh, my gosh. Don't you see how bad that smells? Yeah. Yeah, people in Alabama have really bad hygiene. That's like, something that... Yeah. Make sure your hygiene is good. Make sure you've got... Uh, you, you, your bed is clean. Cause if you bring a girl back to your place, and it is like... It smells terrible. It looks terrible. The girl is just going to walk right out of there. If you think you had her at that point and it looks and smells terrible, she's going to walk right out. <laughs> yeah. Are those windmills? Yeah. They're staying perfectly still. I've never seen windmills staying still. It's like, we tried going green and it didn't work. No, they just got them turned off. So we're looking at cotton, oil, and windmills. I mean, they are just trying to make things work here in Texas. You got wind and oil in the same place. That's interesting. I've gained nothing from this conversation. Uh, I, I'm going on an experience in Alabama. Make sure you're showered. Make sure your clothes look nice if you're going out and you want to impress the girl. Make sure your truck smells nice. Just make sure you smell nice and your things smell nice too. And you don't have like trash piles or you know like dishes in the sink. Clean your house. Clean your person. Clean your car. And clean yourself. I just feel like the biggest advice I can give to people, man in Texas, we haven't figured out one. Wear deodorant. We all know that. It's just don't, don't be, you don't have to be this aggressive, hairy monster that stinks, according to Katie. Yeah. Women like to smell you, believe it or not. It's creepy, but they do. Men, like I said, men don't understand how creepy women are yeah. until they understand. By the time they find out how creepy women are, it's too late. They're already, they're already they don't want it. Yeah. It's too late to back out of that Make point. sure you have, you switch out your toothbrushes every six weeks, and you brush your teeth, you use deodorant, you brush your teeth more, like three, three times a day is good. And you get these little pick things. 
low dental floss, make sure you've got dental hygiene. Yeah, see a doc, a dentist twice a year. That yeah. Too. At least once a year, let's just say. Yeah. yeah. Also, make sure you got deodorant for sure. Soap that has a deodorant in it, and make sure you shower in the morning Sterling and at night. And if you work, you better shower. So that you smell good for those ladies. Even if your friends make fun of you for smelling nice, well then that makes you a leg up on the ladies. nature shows watch whatever whatever chimpanzees do when they're breeding like just watch that and you'll understand what the heck watch videos of chimpanzees breeding <laughs> and mating rituals of chimpanzees you're gonna have like a guy just... and those what's a balloon what's the one where the, the monkey with a butt turns into a big balloon there is some guy with a notebook watching this video over and watch over videos Watch videos of the monkeys with the big butts that turn into a balloon. What are those called? Baboon. Baboons. Watch videos of baboons mating and you understand. Mm -hmm. Oh, and invest in a hairbrush. I don't have a hairbrush. You talking about me like that? Talk about me now, aren't you? What the, what's wrong with my hair? Yeah, make sure your hair is neat, clean, and you own shampoo. And own it, I mean, use it and then keep buying it. I use your shampoo. Yes, you do. Your hair smells like roses right now. <laughs> I told you they smell you, they're creepy. Women are creepy. Creepy, creepy, creepy. That's the ugliest thing you can put in the back of your truck, whatever it is. It's ugly. And if your your skin is a little rough, put some lotion on. Oh, you're really not giving me a break today, Katie. What are you talking about? I don't know about? why it's rough. Your, your skin isn't rough. It's like sunburn and rough. It's not rough. It's rough. Your skin is fine. Well, men in general, I've seen some guys with like scales all over their skin and like. And iguana on their shoulder. Yeah. Invest in lotion if your skin is like that because a girl is going to be like, ew. Mm -hmm. If you got fungus, fix it. If your mattress is gross, no buy a new one. Okay. Yeah, if you if, if you got stains on your mattress, you've been sleeping in it without sheets on it. Make sure you have sheets on it and you wash your sheets a few times a week to make sure it smells good. And wash your clothes. If you wear it, wash it. And your boots, clean them. It's interesting how you, how you start this conversation with hygiene. Yeah. It, it just blows my mind how this conversation is revolved around hygiene more than anything else. Well, it is very important if you're wanting to impress someone or want someone in your life in general that isn't another guy who's doing <laughs> the same thing. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Hygiene. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Make sure you wash your hands frequently. And clean under your nails. Okay, enough with the hygiene. <laughs> I 
enough with the hygiene. Let's talk about personality. Oh, you Me. should have a great. You should be able to carry on a conversation. It was like weird right here. Yeah. Strong. Oh, and you can't get mad if they have an opinion that's different than you. And that's if you want to keep them. You got to be talkable. You don't have to change yourself, but you do have to listen to others. Listen to your woman. That's one thing Jose struggles with. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, what do you mean I listen. struggle? I struggle. <laughs> I struggle with listening to you. How? There's gotta be a weed farmer around here somewhere. It's supposed to be really strong. Yeah. Okay, so I struggle to hear you. Make sure you listen to the one. I want more. I need you to elaborate on that. And you talk to the, the first thing to actually getting a woman is once you've done the hygiene things, actually talking to them and just keep trying to talk to them, but not in a creepy way. You think I don't listen? You think I don't listen? You've done, you're starting to do better. The thing is, women are always talking and you just zone out. The thing is, like, men are programmed to just be like, I need water, I need sleep, I need room. Like, we don't really, yeah, we don't really think beyond very basic, like, five very basic emotions hunger, You're gonna sleep. have to think more, and you're gonna have a woman. Because you're going to have to think what she likes. And if you have the personality of a goat, it's not going to work. <laughs> the personality of a goat? That's hilarious. Like, let's go fishing, honey. Now, there are some women who do like fishing. You may not find her if you are looking for a woman that is breathing. <laughs> <laughs> If, you're, if you are listening to find a woman, you're looking for a woman that's breathing. That may be your only criteria at the moment. Just breathing. I'm like, hey, babe, let's go fishing. She'll be like, um, I'm going to go to the store and buy stuff. I'm like, come on, babe, let's spend a day together fishing out in the woods. Mud. Now, there are some days where I do like that stuff. But there are some days where I like to go to Starbucks and go shopping. Is there ever a day where you like to make me some money instead of spending it? No. That's the day. I'm waiting for the day where you can make me some money and stop spending my money. That's what I'm waiting for. No, I like being a safe home wife. This is the type of woman you don't want. <laughs> this is the type of woman. Let me just you warn want. you. Let me just give you a warning right now if you're a guy. This is not the type of woman you want in your life. There is a guy out there. You are being used. I think a lot of guys are being used by women. I think a lot of guys want a woman. That, you know, they, if they're working hard, like on an oil field, they want to come home and have clean clothes there laid out for them. A yeah, warm meal. A big paycheck. Forget about that. I'll do the dishes. First of all, women, I like, that takes forever. I can do laundry and dishes in 10 minutes. Like, oh, baby, it take all day. No, it didn't take all day. You were playing on your phone all day. Let me warn you, if you're a guy, this is not the type of woman you want. This is the type of woman that they want. They no. want a woman that's breathing and takes care of What's them. What's going on here? Tiny dust storm. What the crap? It's tumbleweeds. And a tornado. But they want to be taken care of. Oh, they miss having mama taken care of them. They want someone else to take care of them. This is the most unproductive conversation we've ever had. I think, if anything, we've confused people more. <laughs> 
And we've, the goal of this video is to help people. We've confused them more than anything. Why are you doing that? I want to do it. Why are you doing this? Good. You were. No, I'm just stretching my hand. Okay. So this is what's out. What this is what Western Texas looks like. What is that a coyote? Yeah. A deer is a deer. No, it looks like a dog. There's still like oil fields and I see the windmills in the distance. Yeah. Smells bad? Yeah, it smells like 40 guys. Ew. Yeah. Windmills in the distance. And And women, if you're looking for a guy, just make sure you like wash his clothes, like take care of him, make sure he has a warm meal. Let's talk about what a woman needs. We're talking about what a guy. We've talked about what guys need to do for 45 minutes. Let's talk about what a woman needs to do. Get a job. No, that's not what all guys. Uh, you know, there are men who want to provide for their women. It literally smells like weed here. Mm -hmm. That's weed. Is, is that legal in Texas? Standing women now. You know what thing women like doing is grocery shopping. I do like grocery shopping. That's a weird thing women like to do. I hate. But not all women like. See, to I do hate that. grocery shopping. To me, grocery shopping is like a chore that sucks. What am I doing here? The experience is out. Where are going there? Yeah, you're keeping going. 46 miles. You're keeping going. You're keeping going. You're kind of mountainous over here. It's not like, like Colorado or yeah. Mexico, but it's kind of hilly. San Angelo, 44 miles. Oh, right, we're there. Robert Lee, 32 miles. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's like dust tornadoes out here. This is kind of prettier than this one. Like, there's more vegetation on the mountains. Mm -hmm. You want to go down to the Mexican border? What? Do you want to go to the Mexican border? Not on this trip. Bro, you never want to do anything this far. You don't want to go fishing. You don't want to rent no ATV. You don't want to go to the Mexican border. What's I have plans for the Mexican border. But it just won't be on this trip. Is there still oil? There seems like there's less oil stuff around. Look, what is that? Oh. That's a lot. Alright guys, there it is. 45 minute drive through western Texas. Explaining the necessities of hygiene. Yeah, we kind of snuck that topic at home. <laughs> yeah. 
I have learned less 